Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Indian Report for the 2nd of July and starting on the four hour chart. Um, picking up from yesterday, we're looking at um, this particular impulse wave here as one and two and three and uh, an A and a B and a C for wave four and then up for wave five. We're expecting this market, as mentioned before, between uh, 500 and uh, 10,500 and 10,650. So we may need to adjust this, but let's go in and have a look at this. So on the one hour chart, um, yesterday we were looking at, um, well, we had this here as an A and a B and a C wave to here, and then we're looking down for a C wave here. Now, as I mentioned before, it was a little bit tricky to count the C wave down through here. So we'll probably have to look at this here as um, wave four sitting over here as well with a wave one here and two here and three here and four here, because we still need to get up above this wave three here for this. So, um, one and two and three and probably four and five up into this space here to finish off that um, particular leg there. So let's go in and have a closer look at that. So on the 15 minute chart here, uh, first of all, um, yeah, so yesterday we pulled this apart here. We could get five waves out of it in terms of of wave one here and two here and three here, but then we've got this uh, really steep move up through here as wave four, which overlaps this, and then we can count one, two, three, four, five down here. So it's possible it's one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, five, but it's probably better as an A and a B and a C wave technically. That means we need to view this here as wave one here. So that's what we will do, but it's difficult to count this down here as five waves, you know, as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave uh, coming into this particular space. Uh, here for this. So a bit of a problem, but um, let's just talk about our trade for a moment. So yesterday we looked at being long just in this space here for this, taking a percentage here because we thought there would be some, there, there would possibly be failure at the 10,300. But at the same time, we were also looking to be long here as well based on support here. So that there can be moved over to that little high here. You could probably even get it down to that one, but we'll just be conservative and take the middle pathway there. And um, yeah, looking at uh, this next move up here, which has broken this here. So this is typically probably a wave four in this case, because we'd look at this as one and two and three and four. And well, I can get five waves out of this in terms of one, two, three, four, five here. So it's probably wave four because it's broken this trend line through here. So delete that. So if we look at um, this as one and two here, we'll just We've just got to be a bit careful. We'll just, but we'll just move this over to here for the time being, and we'll get back to that, and we'll look at this as wave one here and two here, um, with wave three moving to the upside uh, here. And wave four would pull back to the 38.2% here, but I think we're going to kind of protect ourselves here for this, so I'll have to put that here. That's about right there, so that's good. need these. So I really want to protect our profits here for this because also too we're looking at um, Thursday being a bit bearish. This looks corrective at this stage. Um, let me just check in here further with this. Yeah, so that top there, that's going to be the support for that if that drops back down there. So the stop would need to go under that particular space there. So where does that leave us there? 10, 4, 30. So that's cool. So we'll use that level. So that's actually the top of A group 1, the 30 there. So of 400, that's the top of group one, so that's good. Um, so what we could do is we could just move this stop all the way up here. So the stop would have to go at 416. So 10,416 the stop can go at. 
or you can take profit here at that particular point there. Because I'm thinking this also might be one and two here and three here and four here and five here for that one. Uh, and then look to um, take profit at this level here for that. May get there, may not. But all in all, um, that was a nice little trade. So we'll just, because the other markets are possibly, um, we need to see how the S&P and so on are doing. They could be possibly topping out now as well. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But um, there's possibly still more upside. The other point here too is that we'll be looking at a classic trading levels pattern sitting at 10,500. So if you can just imagine this 10,500. So we want to see the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level. And then we want to see it sitting over here for this. So we need that process to go through um, in this case. So we don't have that yet. So we've just really got the, uh, we're in the arrival stage here. So if that's wave four pulling back here, then we'll see the first high above the level. And then we need to see this as support here, this 10,500 as support. So the idea, general idea, is to trade to this, get out, and we just wait for this. You can get involved in all of this, but um, just be very careful because you make your money in the trend and you give it back in the correction. So we need the correction to mature first, and then we can move back in over this side. If it's going to move higher, then we'll be on it at that particular point. If not, well, then we'll see um, a larger correction come from that point. But um, five being the second strongest number in the market, we we'll, should see some sort of um, uh, a vibration at that level there. So um, that's our target. Um, and that's that. So I'll leave it at that. Just want to keep it simple for today uh, until we can figure out the, um, the uh, US markets. Okay. All righty. Cheers.